This channel's speciality is hammer drills, so if you need uh, hammer drill info, I have tons of videos of it, so please subscribe to the channel and enjoy. Hey guys, so today what we are going to do is we are going to see the difference between the DeWalt Power Detect and the DeWalt Flexful Advantage. Now, this video pretty much based on the comments uh, when it comes to the videos I did of the Flexful Advantage because a lot of people were saying when I was using the 6 amp hour XR 21700 cell battery in the Flexful Advantage, it's actually degrading the tool because the Flexful, uh, the Flexful battery will actually perform better in the Flexful Advantage tool. So we're gonna find out if that is true. But yeah, let's go over the specs of these really quick and let's see how these actually do against each other. All right, so this is the DeWalt Power Detect. All right, so this is my number DCD998. It is 11 point clutch plus two, which that's drill and hammer. Anything outside of that is just screw. I'll put the specs of, uh, I'll put all the specs in right now. And yeah, so we will be using a six amp hour XR 21700 cell battery in the power detect. This is declared an XR tool. So yeah, so that is the DeWalt power detect and this uh, is specifically sold at Lowe's. So if you think about it, this is Lowe's versus Home Depot on the same brand. Then we have the DeWalt Flexvolt Advantage. As you can see right there, Flexvolt Advantage. We will be using the, the, the new version of the Flexvolt six amp hour uh, battery. And so, yeah, the, like I said, same thing, 11 point clutch uh, plus drill and hammer mode. This is model number DCD999, half inch fully metal chuck, which both of them are. I'll put this uh, specs in right now. And so, yeah, so like both of these are beasts of a tool, but I did test this out and this, uh, I did find out that this cannot do on speed three on like what the DeWalt uh, power detect can. So, Let's find out in the comments and see if this battery majorly enhances the Flexvolt Advantage tool using a Flexvolt battery. And so yeah, so let's see what these can do against each other. Alrighty, so first we are going to do the Flexvolt Advantage. The battery is full. We'll check the battery life at the end of the video. We will be using, uh, it's on drill speed 3, one and a half inch uh, spade bit. Just so you guys know, I do have another YouTube channel. It's called MCT Two Minute Reviews. It's where I upload two minute or less videos. So please go check it out. I'll put it up, put it right here. Let's see what this can do. Six and a half hour flexible uh, battery. So let's see if the comments are right. Right here is good. A little bit closer. All right, so ready, go. It's through. Time. All right, so let's do the du uh, Dewalt Power Detect next. It is, battery is full. We'll check the battery life at the end of the video. It's on speed three, it's on drill. Right here should be good. All right, so ready, go. It's through. Time. I do not know the test results until I edit the video. All right, so next let's do a one and a quarter inch speed bore. Drill, speed three. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Up, uh, it failed on speed three. All right, so this does require a lower a lower speed, so let's go to speed two. Just to show you guys, speed two. Continue. All right, so that failed on the highest speed. All right, so let's do the six amp hour. Like I said before, that's why I, this is why I say that the power detect beats the flexible advantage because I know what tools can do throughout the history of my tests. And I already know that uh, the power detect can do this on speed three. But I'm gonna do one more test after this to see if we could do it with that six amp hour flex, uh, 
flex battery. All right, so it's on drill, speed three. Ready, go. Oh, my bad. All right, do it again. That's my fault, the chuck slipped. All right, ready, go. Time, just to show you guys one more time, do it right here. All right, so like I said, that one that failed was my fault. I didn't lock the truck, uh, lock the truck in enough. All right, but that's not the end of this. Now let's see if I switch batteries, if it still could do that on speed three. Take the 21700 cell battery out, put the 18650 cell in. Let's give this one more crack. It's on speed three, it's on drill. All right, so ready, go. Yes, it can. Now let's get the DeWalt FlexVolt Advantage and put a 21700 cell battery in it. Oh, I need the bit too. And let's see if it could do it with the battery. All right, speed three, it's on drill. 21700 cell battery in the FlexVolt Advantage. All right, so ready, go. Yes, it can. All right, so remember this video is based on the comments of people saying that the FlexVolt battery needs to be in the FlexVolt Advantage to have it to show its true power. If you have a 21700 cell battery, that will dominate uh, any communication between a different uh, battery and the board. Alrighty guys, so when it comes to this test, that's all I'm gonna test out in this video because, because we just proved that the FlexVolt battery will not increase the power in your FlexVolt Advantage tool. And so no matter what, that this 21700 cell battery will increase your tool's performance. So even if there's special communication in the FlexVolt Advantage to the battery, that gets outperformed by the 21700 cells in this, ba in this battery. I was gonna do uh, I was gonna do hammer features, but we'll actually do once I get another six amp hour, twenty one seven hundred cell battery for the Dewalt. I will do a versus video between these. But uh, when it comes to actually determining a winner, this is not a fair test because like the the this power detect will destroy uh, the flex hold advantage with in this situation. So this isn't just a this isn't a video to see. Uh, what the difference is i actually want to declare a winner in this one and this is not a fair test to declare a winner so i do need to get another six amp hour xr battery because i do not want to share the battery because that might uh that might be bad for the test so i will be getting another one of these and we will be doing a versus video in these because i want to see what happens so i'm glad i answered the comments of people saying that the flex volt battery will perform better in the flexible advantage tool i just proved that to be false so so i hope you found this video helpful and entertaining please like this video please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel this is dave nicholas thank you for tuning in i'll see you guys next time <music>